So I first got to see virtual reality a few years ago and I was so excited when I saw it. And then I discovered that actually you couldn't really tell the stories that I wanted to tell. Uh, the only humans you could create for it were CG and they just had this uncanny valley feel. It took a couple of years but we ended up founding a company that created humans in VR. And the project that came out of that was 100 Humans. 100 Humans is the story of the first humans who walked through Eight Eyes doors to help invent an entirely new digital medium and create a new digital reality. This project was about exploring this new grammar of this new type of filmmaking, which is not just typical storytelling, it's actually in a new format called volumetric video. It's literally like you're in another world. I mean, I'm literally with this person, she's holding her baby, and like, I could have a conversation with her right now. So the cool thing about volumetric video is that it gives you a complete freedom of movement. You can walk around somebody, you can move anywhere you want. That's really interesting because as a storyteller, usually, the director is choosing where someone goes and with volumetric video suddenly the user the viewer is the one that's choosing where the frame is yeah i mean just the freedom of being able to do this link and actually walk around the object this is going to be humongous you know i mean can you imagine going to movies like that a full motion picture with that thing on it it's much more like real life. So when you're experiencing it, the memories that you're making are much more like you are actually there at the time. Oh my God! Yo! So weird, because I know I'm not here, but I feel like I'm in a room. It's the best, that's amazing. As part of developing this technology, I met Reiner Gombos, a visual effects supervisor who won an Emmy for his work on Game of Thrones and was nominated for his work on Cosmos. He really shared a vision that virtual reality was really the future of storytelling and human communication. I've been directing VR pieces here at 8i and it's been great fun. In a way, it's better than directing for 2D or for video, even 360 video. For Sundance, we've created a few experiences as part of the 100 Humans project. For the first time, you can immerse yourself in these artificial worlds that look very much like reality and have people moving around. And 8i technology really allows for the most realistic reality recreation that is currently possible. I met Daniel as a part of this project. He's a producer that worked on a really awesome documentary called Atari Game Over and it's been really great working with him on pulling in all these amazing uh, talent from all walks of life and really exploring this new medium. 100 Humans is a tapestry of lots of different people from many different backgrounds who just have amazing stories and People experiencing this for the first time, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Despite this being a different medium, the fundamentals were the same. Great experiences with good characters and interesting stories. I love the fact that Sundance is embracing VR in a big way, and I can't wait for people to experience this. So we're really excited that Sundance chose 100 humans to be part of their new Frontier exhibit, and we're really excited for you to see it.